so uh, this is the topic focal length of a zone plate or you can uh, show that how zone plate act as a convex lens how zone plate act as convex lens obviously zone, if zone plate act as a convex lens then uh, the focal length formula must be similar like that of a convex lens okay now i will uh, share the diagram Uh, focal uh, this is the diagram of uh, diagram for constructing or for calculating focal length of a zone plate so here you can see you can zoom it if you want uh, so xy represents the section of zone plate perpendicular to the plane of the paper hmm. so it is easier if you uh, see in 3d but you cannot uh, i cannot show you in 3d you can just zoom it the screen can be zoomed so xy is the section of the zone plate perpendicular to the plane of the paper s is the source of light p is the position of the screen okay for a bright image a is the distance between source and the zone plate zone plate xy to xy is the zone plate okay section of zone plate. b is the distance between screen and zone plate uh, so om1 is uh, r1 om2 is r2 that is the uh, radius of the zones okay now i will show you the derivation part so you have seen the diagram uh, how the diagram is now we'll calculate so the position of the screen is such that from one zone play one zone to the next there is an increasing part difference of lambda by 2 okay so in the previous uh, derivation of zone of calculating the radius of the zone plate i showed you that how uh, the next zone plate uh, like uh, if the first if the center of the zone plate is b uh, the distance of uh, the point p that is where the screen is from the center is b for the first zone for the next zone it is b plus lambda by 2 isn't it and for the next zone it is b plus twice of lambda by 2 i showed you in the previous derivation for calculating the radius of zone plate now you see the diagram what is so 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 plus op is how much a plus b you just refer the diagram s m1 plus m1 p is equal to a plus b plus lambda by 2 and s m2 plus m2 p is equal to a plus b plus twice of lambda by 2 okay for example this equation 1 this equation 2 this equation 3 now you take the triangle smo from the uh, s uh, m1 o from triangle from triangle s m1 o from triangle s m1 o s m1 square you please refer the diagram s m1 square is equal to s o square plus o m1 square now what is s o s o is a and o m1 is r1 so you can write a square plus r1 square this is equation number uh, for example 4 okay Now you see the triangle from triangle from triangle O M one P 
एम वन पी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ओ एम वन पी फर्स्ट एट फर्स्ट आई कंसीडर द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ट्रायंगल एस एम वन ओ नाउ ओ एम वन पी सो एम वन पी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ओ एम वन स्क्वायर प्लस ओ पी स्क्वायर सो दिस विल गिव मी एम वन पी एस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ बी स्क्वायर प्लस आर वन स्क्वायर Okay, this is equation number four. For example, this is equation number four. Now we'll substitute the value of S M one and M one P from equation three and four to equation two. Okay, you have the equation two. So you can see equation two. This is the equation two. We'll substitute the value of S M one and M one P from equation four to equation two. Okay. So what you get? You write substituting S M one and M one P. From three and four to equation two. I think it was equation five, na? Four I have already given. One, two, three, four is there. Okay, this is equation five. This is equation five. substituting uh, substituting s m1 and m1 p from equation 4 and 5 to equation 2 what you get s m1 plus m1 p s m1 is equal to a square plus r1 square what is m1 p it is b square m1 is p is this b square plus r1 square And what was equation two in the right hand side? It was a plus b plus lambda by two. Check the equation two. So now it is simple calculation. You take a common, a outside. So you will be left with one plus r one square by a square to the power one by two. Plus again you take b common from here, b. So one plus r one square by b square to the power one by two. In the in the right hand side, a plus b plus lambda by two. Now you further simplify. You apply the binomial theorem one plus x to the power n. You know, na? One plus x to the power n up to second term one plus n x, isn't it? So here we will apply the binomial theorem. A one plus n is half r one square by a square plus b one plus half r one square by b square. In the right hand side, a plus b plus lambda by two. Now you can easily simplify the left hand side and right hand side. So here I'm doing. Okay, here I'm doing. Hmm. Uh, in the left hand, okay. I'm doing the next page. You just we can just finish here. Okay. In the uh, left hand side, we have a plus. So in the left hand side, we have 
a plus you break the bracket r1 square by twice of a plus b plus r1 square divided by twice of b in the right hand side i have a plus b plus lambda by 2 so this cancel out we can cancel out something this a a cancel out b b cancel out so i am left with r1 square by 2 in bracket 1 by a plus 1 by b in the right hand side it is equal to lambda by 2 lambda by 2 so uh, this should be equation number i think 6 now equation 6 it should be equation 6 so this is for r1 so um, uh, we can get here r1 square 1 by a plus 1 by b 2 to cancel out from both side it is equal to lambda so this, this can be equation 6 now similar this is for the uh, re, uh, first zone similarly for nth zone for nth zone rn square 1 by a plus 1 by b is equal to n lambda n times of lambda this is equation number 7 okay you, know, equation, uh, you just see the equation number I'm, uh, i think i have given correctly 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay it is correct now we will apply sign convention sign convention means what if you remember whenever any distance is measured along the direction of light it is taken as positive and any distance measured against the direction of light it is taken as negative so can you see the diagram and tell me which one is positive and which one is negative i think you can here so applying sign convention we can write rn square minus 1 by a plus 1 by b is equal to n lambda or you can write it as 1 by b minus 1 by a is equal to n lambda by rn square this is equation number 8 you can write here applying sign convention okay you can write here applying sign convention a is in the left hand side and we are a is see the direction a is the distance from o to s okay all distances are measured from the optical elements like lens in case of lens what we did all the distances are measured from the optical center here we are measuring the distance from the zone plate the distance is o to s okay and light is going from s to o isn't it that's why a is taken as negative so this is uh, equation 8 now have you seen similar equation somewhere similar type of equation somewhere in your life okay have you seen similar type of equation somewhere i think you have you have seen in a lens uh, in calculating the uh, focal length of a convex lens 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f isn't it 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f so it is like similar to that 1 by v is the image distance 1 by a is the object distance and 1 by f is this so comparing equation comparing equation 8 with lens equation or equation of convex lens okay for convex lens for convex lens what you get 
f n will be equal to r n square by n lambda. Okay, just compare it. For example, this is f n. This is the lens uh, equation for a convex lens. So in this way, we can find the focal length of a zone plate. So the focal length of a zone plate is given by r n square by n lambda.